The first thing you have to do is you got to brown the ground beef. So just get to browning. Just put your stove on medium high and get to browning, grounding up. You want little tiny chunks. Okay, so halfway through browning the ground beef, I realized I goofed up. I was using the um, black pot instead. What I usually do for sloppy just is a very um, deep frying pan like this that I'm using now, uh, because the big black pot like that really isn't necessary. So um, just keep <clears throat> browning your beef until there is absolutely no pink or anything. Okay, I think this is good. What you're gonna do next after it's done, put the stove on low heat. So you don't overdo the heat, but it keeps it warm while you're doing everything. Next you're gonna add one cup of ketchup. Next, what you're gonna add in is two tablespoons of sweet barbecue sauce. And you can use any kind you want. You can use different flavors like uh, hickory and brown sugar. All you gotta do is make sure that it is gluten-free. Next, you're gonna use mustard. Now you can use any kind of mustard you want. This time we're gonna try Dijon mustard because uh, it just depends on the mood you're in. If it looks like I'm holding the tablespoons or everything in a weird orders because I'm trying to avoid showing brand names because uh, I don't have the permission. Next, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Okay, and next you're going to use two teaspoons, get in there, of garlic powder. In this house we love us some garlic, but not too much of it. After that you're going to add one teaspoon of oregano. Now, I know Italian seasoning already has a little bit of oregano in it, but uh, we also like oregano in this house. After that, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. Next up is caraway seeds, and I know it sounds weird, but I promise you this tastes more like the canned stuff than you think. I also forgot that was one teaspoon of caraway seeds. Then after that, <clears throat> take all of this and stir it up. One last thing, the caraway seeds are optional, but we do like it because, again, it tastes more like the canned stuff. So, we like it, and uh, if you don't want to add it in your recipe, that's perfectly fine as well. So far, this is what I've got, and this is the recipe that we know and love um, for years. So right now, we're just going to wait for our sides to cook and to toast our buns, and then we'll come back for the... Uh, taste test. Yeah, you know, toast our bun sounds a little weird, so uh, ignore that comment. Okay, and this is the taste test. It's really good.